German Chancellor Angela Merkel has made no secret of her special relationship with Israel. Her relatively mild criticism of Israel over the fatal Gaza flotilla raid, while the rest of Europe released much harsher statements, is the latest example of Merkel's assuming a more positive position on Israel than most of the continent. IBA's Yochanan El Rome asked Toby Axelrod, the German correspondent for the Jewish Telegraphic Agency and the London Jewish Chronicle, if Merkel's support of Israel has caused her influence within the European community at large, as well as possibly political clout back home. It may, to some extent, uh, make it more difficult for her. However, I don't think that influences her. I don't think, uh, I, I get the sense that she doesn't let fears of, of, uh, of negative reactions influence her policy. What about the uh, local political scene? Uh, obviously, of course, in Germany, like elsewhere, there's an opposition party. Uh, do they hold that over her head in some way? Yes, to some extent they do. Um, the Social Democratic Party, which was uh, pushed out of power by, by Merkel uh, in the first election, when she was first elected, um, issued their own statement about the, the recent events, uh, much more critical of Israel than Merkel dared to be. Uh, and actually, they aroused the wrath of uh, the Jewish caucus within their own party. Um, and some people would say that the party did this in order to differentiate themselves from, from Merkel and to maybe show a little bit that they're in touch with the popular sentiments in Germany because there is a gap between the popular sentiments and the sentiments of the leadership. She did join others in the international community calling for an international inquiry into the Gaza flotilla incident, but her criticism was rather subdued compared to others. Yeah, I would call it subdued, and I think that it shows a uh, continuity of a strong relationship between Germany and Israel. The, uh, there's a joint parliamentary or cabinet meeting between Germany and Israel, which had its second session, uh, second year. Um, and I think that uh, Germany has to show where it stands on these issues in, in the eyes of the world and in the eyes of the UN, the eyes of, of Europe. But I really feel that, um, that Merkel is holding, holding course. Did the uh, Gaza raid cause some fallout for the Jewish community of Germany? Well, the Jewish community of Germany is always on the lookout for uh, any fallout from uh, political events in the Middle East. Uh, we saw this happening during Operation Cast Lead. Um, there were a lot of, of anti-Israel demonstrations, very uh, anti-Semitic anti-Israel demonstrations. Uh, this time around, uh, as far as I am, as far as I know, right now there haven't been any strong anti-Israel demonstrations. There will be some pro-Israel demonstrations coming up this weekend. Both non-Jewish and Jewish groups are planning events, at least I know of one uh, in Berlin on, on Saturday and another on Sunday. Um, there has been, according to the Jewish community of Berlin, which has a watchdog group uh, watch, watching out for anti-Semitism, um, there has been an increase in anti-Semitic statements on Facebook in the German language. and. These, it was suggested by the head of this watchdog organization that it was coming mostly from Muslims in Germany and not from, from German Germans, but from Muslim Germans. Well, the Jewish community of Germany is like the Jewish community of Israel. It has both its right wing and left wing. And you were telling me earlier that some of the left of center Jews in Germany are planning uh, what you might call a, a sympathy flotilla to Gaza. Yes, I, I learned that uh, there's a gr small group of, of Jews who will be, uh, who are planning to go on their own flotilla. Right now, they are talking about sometime in July. Who knows what's going to happen between now and then? Uh, but I have to emphasize that this is a small group, um, and it, it by no means uh, uh, get does it, does it get any support from the mainstream Jewish community. Uh, it's uh, they're considered in a way pariahs.